Excuse me. Um, hello everyone. Finally, some news. Um, it's new to be expected, but it is news nonetheless. And I have just had to really like switch my brain on. I don't know. Just got back uh from being at uni. I'm fucking tired, but you know I can do this when I when I have to do something. I can, you know I can go resuming mode and get like into it very quickly. So yeah, Lunar Festival 2024. We knew it's going to happen, but it was also being like a weirdly long amount of time. These are usually um well. There's only been two of these so far, to be fair. Uh, they've always been announced at least a week earlier than this. That's um the main, the main sort of um, trepidation, the main reason people were sort of actually a little bit concerned that it might not be happening and whatnot, which I wasn't concerned um, in the sense of I'd be missing out. I'm not too like bothered. I will play it and I'll get definitely get the main, the main, um, the main hat, but um, I wasn't concerned about you know it from that perspective. More so as like, why would it not happen? Because it's something that's on the roadmap. It's supposed to, these are the, the seasonal events are pretty much locked in. Uh, they are locked in as to what will happen every year. Um, so if they deviated from that, it would be breaking what's said on the roadmap, basically. And of course they haven't. And it makes sense. Um, the the you know Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year, it's not a Chinese thing really. I mean, obviously it's Chinese theme, but like traditional Chinese, not not current China. You know, like the fun, stereotypical Chinese that everyone has in their minds. That's what this is about, really. Um, but the Lunar New Year this year is on the 10th of February, and this one's going to be running, as we can see, from uh, the 2nd until the 16th, it should be. I think it said 15th, but it doesn't make any sense. But anyway, um, there's not much to it. I'll, I'll, I'll say a couple things at the end, but for now, we just need to get into the post itself. Hello, miners. Sorry, this post comes a few days late. We got caught up rewatching our favourite movie, Crouching Minor Hidden Dragon. That's, that's great. Also, I'd influencer. Um, so yeah, I mean, actually, I I didn't well, I didn't know that, but Aaron wasn't on the last two dev streams. Um, so yeah, I guess he was ill. Which, but the thing is, I don't necessarily believe that's why this is late. I think this is late because it's actually appropriate when the Lunar New Year is this year, which is um, yeah, um, the tenth. <laughs> that's what I was meant to say on the 10th so it's actually fine but either way aaron i hope you're well now it sounds like you've gone better and that's good because we love you uh, anyway the lunar festival is coming back for 2024 of course it is meant to come back every year i don't i don't know how i feel about it being treated like well it's back it's not supposed to be a, it's not supposed to be a surprise at this point um we freshened up this seasonal event to ring in to ring in the year of the dragon and we bring you a fresh crop of collectibles delightful decorations and fun hats this year's Lunar Festival begins on Thursday, February 1st at 1pm Central Eastern Time and runs until Thursday 15th of February at the same time. Here's what's in store. This hat. Um, fresh, ferocious finery. First thing first, the cool new hat. We're welcoming the Year of the Dragon with this dashing new headgear which features a movable jaw, wiggly whiskers and googly eyes to distract your foes. That's great. Uh, it's called Enter the Dragon because your head enters it when you put it on. Smart, right? Not particularly. Uh, complete the hat seasonal assignment and seals to keep. Collect vintage festival styles. If you slept through 2023 and 2022, Years of the Rabbit and Tiger respectively, it wasn't the Year of the Tiger. It was Year of the Tiger, but there wasn't a Tiger-themed cosmetic for it. You've still got the chance to snag the packs from those previous Lunar Festivals. As always, we bring them back as rewards for the last year's Blessings assignment. Get it done, and you'll be a couple hats richer. And also, the quest for the Golden Dragon. We've received word that a reckless longbeard courier has lost countless Lunar Festival dragons in depths of hot seas. These golden statues are a tremendous symbolic value, so we're contracting you to retrieve them, dig up and deposit a dragon during your mission, and your whole team will earn a double, double mission performance point bonus. Okay. Uh, free firecrackers on the space rig. Of course, it wouldn't be a proper Lunar Festival if the space, space rig didn't look the part. When the event starts, you'll find the rig dressed in the nine, in, dressed to the nines? To the nines? Um, with festive banners, glowing paper lanterns, ripe persimmons, and additional charms galore. We also stock the rig with a generous amount of firecrackers. Please don't use them while other dwarves are sleeping. Let's begin begins this Thursday at 1pm Central Eastern Time. Hope to see you there. Well, that's it. Um, that is the Lunar Festival. Uh, I could say a bunch of stuff, and, you know, we could probably say it more so on the podcast, but, um, okay, so the hat itself. Um, it's pretty good. I like it. Um, it's still, in my opinion, just still falling short of, like, I, I just, I can't really... I'm never going to be on their side with this obsession with silly hats. Um, I've sort of realised that, and I kind of... But I'm also not okay with it either. I, I really do want them to just make uh, proper good cosmetics, and I, I mean that in like the sense of uh, what you get in a performance pass, except they just happen to be themed. That, that's my position on the matter. And honestly, this one could be. It's fine. It's not a blunder. It's not like, you know, the, the rabbit hat last year was really like boring and kind of whack. 
Um, this is obviously, this is a Chinese dragon hat for sure, but, you know, it's already, it's like, I don't want the googly eyes, and it'd probably be better if you couldn't see the dwarf face. Um, just things like that. I just, I can't, I don't know. I, I just, I don't really like silliness um, when it comes to something that they actually do spend a lot of time working on. Like, these events are not a tiny amount of effort. They're not overwhelming at all, but they do take time to make and i kind of wish they would just like i just i don't i just don't respect the silliness i just don't get it i don't like it i don't sympathize with it i don't agree with it i'm not on their side about it at all i wish they would just make normal themed cosmetics for these events i don't like the silliness uh, i keep saying that but it's just it's very very true um the golden dragon thing however is something that i do like um this is something that we kind of realized was actually going to be kind of a cool neat thing about the lunar festival is that um it's based on the lunar new year that you know the chinese new year of um every year is a different animal basically of the year uh like you know the first time of the lunar festival it was a tiger although they didn't weren't really doing it then but then the next year the other uh, rabbit and they did do a rabbit themed thing uh the rabbit statue as well um has the double double performance point event uh this time it's obviously it's the year of the dragon so we get the dragon helmet and we get the dragon statue and i think that is a neat thing about this event specifically um and we can see the dragon statue here in the sort of uh, the post thumbnail although i think it's actually yeah there it is there's the dragon um neat it's like a golden dragon crawling up a golden pickaxe it's, it's, it's not bad but still now this is um I just want to quickly put in a word because you know you, you kind of got all the information now but i want to put in a quick word just about sort of um, communication and things like that um so it's been how long has it been okay it's been at least two weeks so it's been um oh 18 days so two weeks and four days since the last news post before this and for me that's a long time based on the based on them expressing around the time of the roll call announcement them expressing a desire to become more communi communicative and more thorough with the communication as well um and i'm personally it doesn't feel like it's coming to fruition yet i know that the plan was to only start open development with season five and then with road call when it goes to early access um i knew that we weren't going to be getting the open development treatment from uh, communication wise until yeah season five is in development but i still wish there was a little bit more um like this kind of thing for example it's not that i need them to elaborate on every part of the lunar festival this post itself is fine but you know, there's a case of, you know, um, the wait between uh, season four and season five. Uh, it's going to be at least a year. Um, there's a wait between five and six after that. We can imagine it's going to be a long time, maybe even another year. We don't know. Um, just the fact that they now have loads of the, loads of these events that give you double performance points and it's kind of not really being... It feels like it's not really being thought about in an open way where it's like, do we really need this many chances to get double performance points like how many i know it's i know it benefits new players a lot as well but just like um how many new players are there as well um you know cropping up uh more than six months into the current season i would say very very few and i kind of just want to know how they feel about this fact you know um and whether or not they feel like the time that they spent on coming up with this new way of doing events was worth the time given that it's just gonna you know, the amount of double performance points that are available might just fall on deaf ears, for lack of a better term. Um, because most people most people are going to be able to finish the pass very quickly, very easily. I would say most people who are going to probably already have for the Season 4 performance pass. So I really do wonder just what they think about it. And, I, and I'd like to know. That's sort of what I'm getting at. I, I'd like to know um, more. It, it's something that actually I would not mind a Below Decks post on at all. Um, the first one was about making a seasonal event hat, uh, the sausage bucket hat, which obviously was kind of silly, but it also got into the fact that these hats take roughly 15 hours to make, which is you know, about two working days. Um, so, yeah, I would not mind to see a little bit more communication in, in that kind of sense. I, I don't think Ghostship are really lacking. I think they are just literally doing everything they can. They're also still an indie developer for the most part. They're expanding their team only very slightly and they are working on two games at the same time, one of which has a huge amount of technical debt. Um, that's this one, by the way. Um, so I know that they're working as fast as they can, but, you know, they always say, like, you know, things are taking longer than maybe they'd like. And it's sort of like, well, that's why more frequent communication is going to help you a lot. And so far, it doesn't feel like there's been a 
really focused effort to make that happen. Um, but, you know, take that with a pinch of salt. It's just my opinion on the matter. But either way, <laughs> that's, that's everything. So, yeah, Lunar Festival will start. Also, was I right? Yeah, it says first day, the second here. Like, why did it say first day? I mean, I know it's not second. First day is the first. And then, you know, the next, two first days from then would be the 15th. But, you know, that's weird. So, yeah, first day, um, the first of February till the 15th of February. Um, which is also first day, Lunar Festival 2024. Be there or don't be, um, basically. All right. Um, we'll see you on, f hopefully, we'll be doing a stream on first day, actually. I hope so. Um, so maybe you'll see us there. Actually, um, you should see me tomorrow with a build showcase, I hope. Um, if I don't find time to record that, it's because I'm dead. Okay. See you soon. <laughs>